I'm not gonna waste your time like other dickhead YouTubers in this video. I'm just gonna tell you literally the five steps to take back control over your life. If you're a young guy struggling with some addictions, maybe it's junk food, maybe it's porn, maybe it's video games, maybe it's a lot of stuff, your mental health problems, maybe your parents are really angry at you. If you're just struggling in life and just lost over your life, have these addictions that have taken over your brain and your life this video might be the perfect thing that's gonna help you so let me tell you a little bit of my story and you can skip this section if you want but I think it'll be really valuable for you to listen to it so throughout my life since last year before last year I've been a avid procrastinator I literally fed like all throughout all the COVID lockdown like some like I don't even have control over my own life like bro I'm not gonna lie bro even in college I wanted to be productive I wanted to get good grades but I just couldn't because I felt like I was in these shackles by this modern media the modern society the junk food porn video games social media drugs weed I just felt like bro I was like literally fighting an uphill battle and I wanted to like drastically change my life to make this like the new chapter of my life and when I went on to these five protocols completely changed my life forever and I'm certainly not like super successful I'm certainly work in progress but now that I compare this life to the life I was living one year ago, two years ago. It's literally a night and day difference. All right, so let's get into it. Get into all of these five protocols. Number one, dopamine detox. Dopamine detox literally changed my life forever. So what the scientific term for that is, dopamine, what the scientific term is that all these habits that feel ple pleasurable right now in the moment junk food porn social media video games they increase our dopamine receptors now and they gave us give us this baseline high but when we keep indulging in these habits every single day our baseline keeps going low that's why working out or reading or going out in nature it doesn't feel fun anymore or even studying that's why you procrastinate from studying, bro. That's why you have shitty grades. Because you've literally fried and numbed your dopamine receptors that are supposed to give you joy in doing the simple things. But I'm not gonna lie, bro. Of course, these things are really enjoyable, like porn. So they are so hyper-stimulating that for a monkey brain, it literally numbs it. And then we're these normal things that literally make us productive and help make us grow in the long term. It just doesn't register to our monkey brain anymore. That's why you need to take a big step back from the dopamine detox, sorry, the bad dopamine vices. And the way I did dopamine detox was I was looking at all these fucking YouTube videos, these fucking dickheads that were like, how to reset your brain in just one day. And it was like, I literally looked at them and I was like, these people are fucking idiots. You cannot reset your brain in just one day. Then that's when I got the idea that if I need to do this, this has to be like a long time thing. And ever since then, I have been off on and off dopamine detox, by the way. I've not been perfect. I'm not like flawless. Of course, I went back to fucking watching porn, bro. Of course, I ate junk food. Of course. I didn't play video games. Does online chess count as video game? I don't think it does. But of course I went on social media. Of course I fapped like last year once or twice. Like of course I did bro. But the main aim is that you reduce all the bad dopamine vices at the same time. But at the same time, you also increase all the delayed gratification. Working out, exercising, meditating, going out in nature, reading, being productive, working on your business, 
you literally increase all of these at the same time this is how you literally become successful if anything if there's anything that defines happy people successful people rich people healthy people attractive people it's delayed gratification they sacrifice the short term for the long term if anything that describes unhealthy people fat people poor people broke people sad people it's instant gratification they indulge in the instant pleasure right now that ruins their life in the long term and that's why that's like the basic number one pillar you need to follow that's dopamine detox now the second one no fat or semen retention bro when you're literally watching porn and you're literally fucking jack off you literally spilling all your masculine desire to make progress think about it what's like the number one desire that a man has it's literally to have sex with women right that's literally the number one animal primal desire you literally carry inside of you and when you literally just fucking fap it and ejaculate bro you literally chopping your dick and balls off why would you do that cuz you know what's going to happen if you don't do that that desire b- turns into motivation it turns into discipline it turns into a burning desire to then level up so you can climb up the social hierarchy in ways that you know will get you women actually like literally will get you women and so many men just fucking spill it looking at tiktok instagram girls poor basically when i combined semen retention with dopamine detox i became so fucking productive i would go to bed and just think about okay what am i going to do next okay i need to meditate 30 minutes i need to read more i got to work out properly i got to read more that's literally things my mind was obsessing over number 3 number 3 reading naval ray kant has a saying that reading is the highest leverage thing you can do when you read a book imagine you reading one book and then you read a book a week for a year like just think about it literally absorbing all the knowledge from other people that have written like other successful people high level people who are on the upper echelons of society they have literally passed on this knowledge for just a small a small amount that is such a high leverage the roi is so fucking high but cuz bro whatever you do it compounds over time right if you're reading a book a week like all this knowledge i have is from reading honestly i'm not even going to lie all this knowledge on like biochemistry how to improve your dopamine how to be more productive how to improve your health how to be more disciplined how to make money how to be good at persuasion how to communicate properly on camera this is literally all coming from reading <laughs> reading will literally give you so much high roi and if you if you have bad social skills because let's be honest if you don't have control over your life you have bad social skills you have bad biases bad dopamine and if you read you will literally you will literally run past all the people around you in success so that's the third thing that actually helped me get control over my life now the fourth thing fourth thing social skills bro i remember i i still fucking remember how lonely i used to be in high school like i would literally think about it i would go to school i was like okay okay what do i say oh i don't want to i feel shy i have bad social skills i don't want to talk to that person like literally that's the reason 
I, I used to struggle in school. I never had a good social skill. I just never had good social skills. This is the thing I fucking hate about school, bro. You don't even learn much to help be a healthy, functioning human being. All school does is just condition you to be a slave, to just be pushed on into corporations, just a submissive pawn in the game of big corporations. You literally don't even learn anything educational in school. That's why so many guys are struggling in life. But when you develop good social skills, you're going to make friends everywhere you go. Like that person is going to invite you to stay at the place. You're going to have a vibrant social circle. That's one of the reasons you probably don't have good control of your life, bro. Because your social skills are trash. You hang around with people because you are like lonely and you're like, oh, if I, if I say no to these people, I'm not going to have anyone in my life. No, that's why you need to increase your social skills so you can be friends with high quality people and they're going to help you take control over your life way faster than these shitty ass trash fuckers who take drugs, play video games, smoke cigarettes, go out drinking. You don't want to be friends with these people. And the fifth habit, the fifth thing that helped me take control of my life, monk mode. So we talked about a lot of this stuff, right? Dopamine detox, being productive, doing this, doing this. Monk mode is literally the thing that you need. If you look around you and there's filth everywhere, your body is filthy, your mind is filthy, your bank balance is filthy, your relationships with your family, everything is filthy. This is like the thing that you actually need right now. Monk mode. Honestly, I, I would even go on to say that monk mode is way higher ROI than dopamine detox. So monk mode is literally a relentless, long period of time. It needs to be like an unidealistic situation. So the, the lockdown, the COVID lockdown was the perfect time to go monk mode. So what do you do on monk mode is you literally just grind day and night. You do, drop out of the dating market. You don't hang out with friends. You don't go out places. All you do is just wake up, grind. That doesn't mean like you wake up and just fucking open your laptop and you just keep working, keep working, keep typing, keep working in business. No, no, no. What that means is you're improving your mental health. You're improving your physical health. You're improving your social skills. Like we covered like the last four points, right? You're improving every part of your life together with making money, your spirituality, your masculinity, your social skills. Your, like this is what you actually need. I wish I could go back in time and tell the younger Arush, like, hopefully consider something like this that would actually benefit him hugely. Like, I wish I someone told me this. I needed monk mode for, like, a long time, bro. So monk mode is literally a long period of time that you go on without indulging in any amount of pleasure. You don't go out talking to women. You don't go out with friends. All you do is just wake up and grind. You just say to yourself, okay, yep, I'm just going to wake up and grind till this period of time. Now, I would recommend you don't do it more than like six to seven months. Or maybe, maybe just maybe just do it till, till a year. Because I've noticed like I start to go crazy if I do it more than six months. So, yeah. But monk mode is literally going to give you the high ROI. and You definitely need it. If you literally have shitty ass life, like you're literally addicted to drugs, like bro, you, you cannot even control your mind to stop eating junk food, stop watching bullshit media. You need monk mode, like trust me, it will literally change your life. So there you go. These were the five things that will help you take back control of your life. You're just a young teen, a young kid struggling in life, just like me. Like, honestly, bro, I wanted to be productive, like I said in the beginning of this video, throughout my life. I wish someone, I wish someone just told this 
so told this to me my younger self potentially these are the things you need but the beautiful thing about internet is now you have content like this like now you can literally take this advice from me like i could be someone's father figure honestly and you can take advice like this from me which will literally help you transform your life way faster than it did for me that's the most beautiful thing about content like this you literally become the person the content you consume of that person hope you found that massive value in this video bro you can click on the subscribe button right now if you want to see more videos about this i post videos on masculinity young men's self-improvement dopamine detox monk mode social skills and all this stuff i also provide self-improvement personal coaching it's on fiverr we can actually connect and we'll, i'll just get to know you and things will just start to click for you and i'll also refund you by the way if it, you feel like it wasn't worth your time take care stay hard Thank <laughs> you.